guys, welcome back. My name is Rachel, if you're new here. Welcome to this weekend vlog. It's actually the 1st of January. You guys are seeing this about a week later, but for me, it's New Year's weekend, and we're gonna have a lot of fun. Really quickly, I do wanna thank Thrive Market for sponsoring today's video, but I will talk more about them later. Okay, so you guys know I'm doing a no spend January. If you didn't see my New Year's reset, I'll link it right here and I'll link it down below. Make sure you watch that one because I talk in detail about what I'm doing this month and how I'm not spending money on anything besides groceries, medicine, gas, and other life necessities. I wanna pull up my Google Sheet. I made a Google Sheet. Leave me alone. Okay, so here is my Google Sheet that I made for the month of January. On this tab, I have a meal plan, and on the second tab, I have my wish list. So let's start with my meal plan. One of our biggest struggles is going to be not eating out. We have a really bad habit of going to get fast food or ordering DoorDash for dinner or just being lazy and not cooking our own food. So I intentionally made a meal plan so that we can hopefully have an easier time of sticking to this no spend month. So here here, I just put the days of the month. I went all the way down to 31. And then I have my dinner ideas. So for example, tonight I wanna do salmon, rice, and broccoli. And then the next tab over here is the lunch for AJ since AJ works from home. Tonight we're gonna to have salmon, but tomorrow for lunch, AJ is gonna have leftover salmon. So I'm trying to cook more than just one meal's worth. I'm trying to cook doubles so that we can have lunches and maybe even dinner the next day. So here are some dinner ideas, chicken schnitzel, quesadillas, burgers from the freezer. I'm trying to clean out our freezer. We have so much meat and chicken and fish in there from months ago that's just sitting frozen. So my goal for the end of January is to completely clean out the freezer from the old meat. Spaghetti and meatballs and then every man for himself. This is, <laughs> let me highlight this. This is a night where we don't have a plan. We just both eat whatever we want. So maybe I'll have a sandwich. Maybe I'll have oatmeal and AJ will do his own thing and make his own food. And then I have a shopping list for week one. That's what this section is here. Self-explanatory, this is what we wanna get from the grocery store. So yeah, that's the plan. It's about one o'clock. Uh, like I said, it's New Year's Day, so we kind of slept in a little bit. I was editing a video this morning and we're planning to go to the grocery store and just kind of set ourselves up for the month. Day one, no spend January. Pray for me, you guys. Okay, we're back from the grocery store and we got a crap ton of food. Now, we realize we may have gotten a little bit more food than we need, but we'd rather have extra food that rolls over into the next week as opposed to having too little food and then being tempted to order food or go out to eat or go to McDonald's. You get the idea. So we did spend $230. We went to Publix. We chose not to go to Walmart because we know that even after the no spend January, we are not gonna go to Walmart. Like that's just not the type of shopping that we enjoy. So we're being realistic. We're still going to Publix and we did spend a little bit more money than usual, but this will last us, I'm predicting two weeks. The only thing we're gonna need to restock on next week is like fresh fruits and vegetables and maybe some snacks, but as far as proteins and dinners, we're set for two weeks. So we kind of organized it by type. Let's start with the snacks. So these were buy one, get one. They're like little candy popcorns. We thought this would be good to satisfy our sweet tooth. AJ's favorite chips we found, um, cause sometimes they're not in stock and sometimes they are, so this is his snack. And I found these, I've never seen these before, a hint of queso. Then we have Brussels sprouts, little baby oranges, broccoli, avocados, apples, bananas, a bunch of berries. These were also buy one, get one, Nature Valley, sweet and salty. We got salt, ketchup, marinara sauce, cottage cheese. This is a great snack when you're starving and you just need something quick. Sour cream, we're gonna have a taco night. Shredded cheese for the tacos. We're also having burgers, this is for that. We got some peanut butter. We got these little mango. Oh babe, you wanna, you want one of these? What are you doing? She's, she's trying to chase the reflection from my watch. Anyways, uh, we, we got some tortillas for, ta for the tacos. Hamburger buns, my favorite bread for my breakfast. Potatoes, zucchini, salmon meatballs we're gonna do two spaghetti nights 
We did splurge on some salmon. This alone was $25, but like I said, we are still trying to maintain some type of quality of life, so we really enjoy salmon. Potatoes, did I say that? Eggs. This is AJ's lunch for the week. He loves these and they're pretty good. They're pretty healthy. It's just stuffed chicken breast, one Parmesan and one Cordon Bleu. And then this is our emergency stack. So we both love Hot Pockets and these really come in handy when you're starving. I know for me, when I get hungry, I get hangry. I get irritated and I need to shove something down my throat immediately. And that's where these come in. You microwave them for two minutes and bam. Um, if I didn't have something that I could like shove down my throat, then I would definitely go to Taco Bell, order food, or just like resort to bad things. But we're gonna put this away and then enjoy the rest of our Saturday. It feels like a Sunday, but it's actually Saturday because I had yesterday off of work. And voila, we just put away all the groceries. It took me a little bit longer than expected, but I wanted to talk to you guys about Thrive Market. So this is really the finishing touch for me on my groceries and just makes me feel really good about my food for the week. So basically, you can order your favorite organic groceries, snacks, beverages from Thrive Market and they send it straight to your door. So let me show you some of the stuff that I got. I'm obsessed with these kind of chips and the fact that they have organic ones is just so much better. I got basmati rice, avocado oil. I was actually looking for the best price and I happened to find it on Thrive. These are to die for if you've never had these chips. They are so good. I also got some dried organic mango. This is one of AJ's favorite things. Another one of my favorite are these peanut peanut butter stuffed pretzels and they're made with cassava flour. I don't know if I'm saying it correctly. Organic blueberry spread. What I love about Thrive is that you can find your specialty products like macadamia, macadamia milk, white chocolate peppermint. Like, are you kidding me? I cannot find this brand anywhere in my local stores. And that's where Thrive comes in clutch because like I said, you don't have to go to multiple stores to get all of these specific products that you want. Thrive works directly with all of my favorite organic food brands. So I'm always getting the best price and if I have happen to find a better price for let's say this avocado oil they will match it for free orders over $49 ship for free and their packaging is carbon neutral and ships from their zero waste warehouse which is so awesome they have a one-for-one -one membership matching program for every paid membership they give one to a low-income family not only are they green friendly but they really care about the community and that's why I love thrive they're doing a special deal if you go to thrivemarket.com slash Rachel Vin you can get 40% off your first order and a free gift. The link is down below. They are coming in clutch with this no spend January because not only do I not have to go to separate grocery stores and get all these products, but I know for a fact I'm getting the best price, which is good for the budget. We're gonna go for a walk. We're gonna go to a local park and just walk around. Um, I have a really bad headache today, so I just wanna be like outdoors. I think it's because of New Year's festivities. I went to bed at like 1 a.m. and I woke up at seven still because I'm crazy and I can't sleep past my designated sleeping time. What are you doing? What are you doing? Okay. Oh, you're back? You're back? I am so behind on laundry, you guys. It's Landry. I almost said Landry. You know Landry from, what's that show? Friday Night Lights? Ugh. Friday Night Lights is such a good show. But I'm so behind on laundry. I have like four loads to do this weekend. I've just been slacking and I have like no workout clothes that are clean and it's really just bugging me. So I'm doing laundry. Are you helping me? Are you helping me do it or are you just gonna be annoying? But tell me, what is your laundry schedule? Do you do laundry once a week? I know one person who does it every single day, like, but she has kids, so she does a load a day. That seems kind of crazy to me. <laughs> You're sitting on my... What I do is I wait until I cannot wait any longer and I do like five loads in one day. I need to get better about doing laundry. back from the walk and we're making our famous salmon recipe so what you do is you just salt chili powder and a little bit of red pepper on your salmon AJ will demonstrate you take out a burning hot 450 degree cast iron you put some coconut oil on the pan and it should immediately melt because it's so hot then you put the salmon on and it should sizzle right away so I don't, I don't think we should put those on. We can save those for tomorrow. 
Yeah, it was like eight minutes. And then you put it in the oven. We also have some broccoli in there. We're gonna start with eight minutes. It's very important that you don't overcook it. And we also have some rice going. Next, we're making a lemon butter sauce. We do about half a stick of butter, a bunch of minced garlic, and some lemon juice. And this is what you pour all over the salmon. How'd you get butter on the side of it? I don't know. Okay, the timer just went off. We're gonna check it. Too much, too little. You need like two more minutes. Okay, here is the finished product and it's the flakiest salmon you will ever eat. It's so good. The cast iron makes so much of a difference. I highly recommend. Good morning guys, it's the next day. It's Sunday. We just got back from church and now my mom is gonna pick me up. We're going to the beach. I'm just wearing this bathing suit. I think this is from American Eagle and then I'm just wearing like black American Eagle bottoms, my Levi's high-waisted jean shorts and this little white linen top from H&M. I'm really excited because I haven't been to the beach in so long and it's just going to be a great way to start the new year. I'm bringing my Kindle. Let me show you what's in my beach bag. So I have a towel. I have some beach sunglasses. These are my old ones. I don't know if you guys remember. I have some Banana Boat 15 SPF. I have Hawaiian Tropic SPF 30. This is for like my face and shoulders if I need to reapply. I have a granola bar. This is key to doing a no spend January is always having snacks with you. And then I have a plastic bag with my Kindle in it because I don't wanna get sand in the Kindle. And then I have this shirt. I'm going to wrap this camera inside this shirt and then put the shirt in the bag because I do not want sand getting in these little holes inside the camera. That would be tragic. And and the shirt like protects it from banging around inside the bag. I don't have like a case, so I just use t-shirts. Um, I just had some raspberries, Vinny's, Vinny's finishing them for me, and I'm gonna eat this cottage cheese. I talk about this a lot, but I am obsessed with cottage cheese. It's just a really good protein-filled snack. We also just fed a stray cat. I'll put a clip on the screen, but this cat has been coming by our house all the time. And this poor cat was so hungry that she ate three full servings of food. So normally we give Vinny one serving and Vinny's so picky she'll eat like half of it and not finish it but this cat ate three full servings and was drinking all of the water so that just like broke my heart anytime we see her we feed her because we're just like we yeah and then this duck came so the duck came and like tried to attack the cat and we were like what the heck um but we are not super friendly to ducks because ducks are very invasive once they choose your house they poop all over the yard. We have duck poop all over the yard, all over the sidewalks, but you don't want to be too friendly to ducks because they will definitely claim your house as their territory and you don't want that. I'm also going to bring this hat. This is my go-to sun hat because it covers a lot of your face and like your torso or your chest because we don't want sunspots on our chest, ladies. I look crazy, but I ran out of my Tula sunscreen, which I'm really sad because I'm obsessed with this. So for now, since I'm doing a no spend January, I'm like, I have to go like this. Otherwise you can't see me. I'm going to use this, which I have leftover of. This is the Roche Posay 60 SPF. Oh, I left this out because I wanted to show you. Another money saving tip is to not buy like the Bath and Body Works soaps or anything. Just buy a huge thing of soap. I got this from Target. I have one of these in every bathroom, which is only two. And then I usually use this for my kitchen sink, like hand soap as well. Except this year I made an exception because this year I got these little things from Target, which are holiday themed, but I'm going to use these until they're empty. And then I will bring back my other one. Oh, and I can't forget my beach chair. Beach chair is crucial to a good beach experience. wall across the beach which is crazy I've never seen this before but it's a beautiful day I'm here with my parents we're going to enjoy the day okay i'm home from the beach it was a really windy day so i didn't film a lot because you wouldn't be able to hear me and i don't know what's going on with my hair but yeah it was really nice i just finished reading this book on the kindle it's called the perfect marriage by geneva rose oh my gosh such a good book you guys this is the first book that i'm reading on the kindle and it was so good 
highly recommend it's a thriller which are my favorite types of books so i asked carter sullivan my friend here on youtube she's like really into books i asked her what her top favorite thriller books are and she gave me a list so i'm going to be reading them so stay tuned maybe i'll become like a book lover but honestly having the kindle makes such a big difference Good morning guys, it's Monday morning. I'm getting ready for work and I'm having a bagel with some of this blueberry spread. It is so good, I had it yesterday too and it's so yummy, I love it. video here because I have to go to work which means the weekend is over I'm just wearing this top from H&M I hate Mondays I despise Mondays but you know what it's gonna be okay I have my bagel and looking forward to a great year so I'll see you guys in my next video thank you so much for watching and see you next time don't forget to go to thrivemarket.com slash Rachel to get 40% off your order and a free gift Thank you.